A world that loses its power will fade into nothing. If such is the fate of this world, then I shall return it to its mother's womb. The world must first die for it to be born again. This is the path to salvation, as foretold in an ancient prophecy. The world will fall for its sins, and everyone living will vanish. But I won't let you meet the same fate. I want to help you hold on to your life. To do so, I need to know your name. Will you tell me who you are? That's right. As of now, your will to live shall sustain you. Believe in it, and survive. I'm glad you understand. The time is near. Everything that is will be rewritten. I am the nurturer of the next world. The template for our future rests within my hands. Now. I want you to say my name aloud. That's right. <sighs> no. I won't shed another tear. Not even at this world's end. Instead, I can invite you to the world that is to come. Now go ahead, wake up. The time is here. Yo Yogi Cohen! Yo Yogi Cohen! Please do not rush onto the train. The door is now closing.
great. The entire park's closed off. They can't even let a guy in to snap a few photos? <sighs> Guess it's not my lucky day. You need something, kid? Well, here's what they said on TV. Panic erupts as a clash between corporate representatives and a civic organization ends in violent deaths. Pretty disturbing, right? But those who live on the fringe say... It was a deeper struggle between two cults. Uh, I think that's your phone going off. Hey, are you there? Finally, I get a hold of you. What's taking you so long? if it was our other friend, but you're never late. You wake up on the wrong side of the bed? Where are you now? You well, since you decided not to show, we had to leave without you. We're almost there now. So, yeah, would you mind coming straight to the hospital? You do know which hospital it is, right? Shinjuku Medical Center. Just go east from Shinjuku Station and keep going. You can't miss it. I guess this works out. I was planning to ask our teacher for career advice, so I'll just go ahead of you. Thanks. Keep in mind, I don't plan on staying too long. Okay, see you later. Hold up. You're on your way to Shinjuku Medical Center? Hmm. That's also where I'm headed, oddly enough. Go figure. Why don't you hang on to this? It's a copy of our upcoming issue. I'm assuming you don't know what went down here. Then, you probably don't know what kind of place that hospital is either. The name's Hijiri, author of The Ring of Gaia and the Scripture of Moroku. Might want to give that a read. Normally, you wouldn't associate a hospital with the occult. But that hospital is anything but normal. Or so they say. There's a lot of misinformation floating around these days. If it turns out I'm wrong, just laugh it off, okay? Anyway, I'd better be going. Oh yeah, in the event we run into each other again, let me know how you liked my article. Well, hey, about time. Um, is it just me, or is something seriously off here? Hmm, there isn't anyone in sight. No nurses, no patients. 
Look, even the reception desk is empty. Don't you think there's something weird about this place? I sure do. Anyway, you know who is looking for our teacher right now. And big surprise, he's still gone. He'd better not be off goofing around. Oh, what's with that magazine? Knowing your taste, it probably wouldn't interest me. Ayakashi Monthly. Never heard of it before. What? It's an occult magazine? Why would you bring something like that here? <sighs> well, maybe it could help me kill some time. Anyway, can you go find that bonehead? If he can't find our teacher, then I don't want to be here another minute. You should be on the second floor, where the patients' rooms are. I'll be waiting down here. Oh, and leave the mag with me. Don't leave me hanging too long, okay? scared the crap out of me. Why'd you go sneaking up like that? Jeez, you come here late, you cause trouble. You know what? Forget it. Not worth it. I'm sure you've already noticed, but this place has been cleaned out. You think everyone, uh, died off? I called our teacher to make sure this was it. She clearly told me. Shinjuku Medical Center. They could have at least put up a notice or something so visitors aren't clueless. Maybe someone unleashed a deadly virus in here. I've already checked out everywhere she might be. I'm running out of places to look. Think we should just call it? Alright, I'm gonna head back down and check out how our other lady's doing. I bet she's all pissed because I've been gone so long. <sighs> it ain't easy pleasing a princess. Anyway, I really hope this isn't the shitstorm it's shaping up to be. Thank you. 
Oh, you're back. So, you know that special report at the beginning of the magazine? Well, it says some things that are more than a little unsettling. According to this, there's a group of demon worshippers who call themselves the Ring of Gaia. And they're right here in Japan. Apparently, they believe in this book of prophecy called the Scripture of Miroku. In that book, it says that chaos will engulf the world, and these people are trying to cause that somehow. Whether their idea of chaos means terrorism or something else entirely, the reporter couldn't figure that out. But get this. Uh, no luck finding her. I even checked the men's room. Ugh, didn't need to know that. We're in the middle of a conversation here, so save those details for later. Now, listen to this part. A hospital on the east side of Shinjuku is closely linked to the organization's sinister plan. Let me guess, that ends with... Find out more in our next issue. Though it wouldn't surprise me if that article had some truth to it. I've heard some real spooky shit about this place. Like how they run deadly experiments on patients, or how a psychic started shrieking and bolted out of here. And of course, there's a rumor that a cult's behind it all. You're serious? I never knew any of that. Maybe we really shouldn't have come here. I almost feel stupid for buying into some bizarre tabloid. But it does get one thing right. How creepy this hospital is. Mm-hmm. We really need to find her, don't we? Okay, we search this place top to bottom one last time. If nothing pops up, we assume nothing's wrong, and we split. By the way, looks like you can reach the annex from the second floor. I'll go take a look up there. Whereas you have the honor of searching the basement. Oh, and uh, you'll need this. You're the one who found the card. Why don't you search the basement? Could it be you're too scared? Come on, this is me we're talking about. The only reason he's going is because I'm sure there's nothing down there. Look, all you need to do is confirm that our teacher isn't in the basement. Got it? After all, saving the day is my job. Should things take a turn for the worse, just run like hell, okay? I can't believe him sometimes. Anyway, let's focus on finding our teacher. No matter what, we have to make sure she's safe. it who dares disrupt this stillness only a lost lamb a well-known poet once said 
April is the cruelest month. Have you any inclination as to why? Because it is then one awakens from a long sleep and faces the barren world. Our history as a species is similarly barren, comprised of empty trivialities. The worthless overgrowth of a civilization blind to its sins, continuous war and bloodshed, and thousands of years of repeating the same mistakes over and over again. The world needs to wipe its slate clean. The way to salvation was foretold in the scripture of Miroku. And today, that prophecy shall be fulfilled. The old world will sink like a setting sun, and the new world will arise in its place. Now, how should I deal with you? From what I recall, you weren't among our followers who survived the purge at the park. Oh, you're her acquaintance. Come to think of it, this was a hospital, wasn't it? And you merely came to visit her. However, even a pebble creates ripples when cast in water. And while I do feel pity for you, your life ends here. Do not be afraid. All the inhabitants of this world will follow before long. Your time has just come a bit sooner, that's all. You fool. No one can overcome their fate. Stop! Huh? What? You can't even let one person go? What effect could he possibly have on our plan? However insignificant he is, I am not a man of exceptions. You know this. Fine. If you don't spare him, then consider our partnership over. <sighs> Such a troublesome maiden. Well, I'll leave the teaching to the teacher. Please leave this room. I would like to enjoy this blissful end in solitude. I'll be waiting on the roof. We'll have a good view of the city from there. Come. See it with your own eyes. Witness that which will change the world. What's wrong, my little master? Are you curious about that person over there? Oh, is that so? My, my. But right now, we have other matters to attend to. Let's do that afterward.
So, here we are again. I'm glad I intervened when I did. I wouldn't want you to fall prey to a demon. You heard what Hikawa said, right? This world is about to be swallowed by chaos. It's called the Conception. The rebirth of the world. An event which no human has ever witnessed. Everyone outside of this hospital will perish. I doubt anyone would approve of such a terrible thing. But even if we did keep this old world alive, it would eventually lose all its power. The world must first die, for it to be born again. And I alone will carry the burden of its sin. As for regrets, I have none. What matters is that fate reached out and led you here. And it is your fate to live through the conception. It may actually be more painful than death. But I believe in you. Please. Come find me when it's done. No matter how the world changes, I'll be your pillar of strength. It is my duty as the Maiden to take part in shaping the new world. Meaning I can show you a better way to live. I know it must be difficult for you to understand, but we're out of time. Listen, if you can find me on your own, I promise to tell you everything. The answers to all your questions and what my intentions really are.
Do not be afraid. My little master has taken an interest in you. Pitiful human though you are, he wishes to grant you a gift. It is vital that you receive it, and I'm afraid you have no choice. Please try not to struggle. It will only hurt for an instant. Gautama is the essence of demonic power. With it, you have joined the ranks of demons. My little master is always watching, so please try not to bore him. there. <gasps> Wait. Aren't you that kid I met at the park? What in God's name happened to you? I see. Well, at least you still think like a human. That aside, you know what the hell's going on here? Last thing I remember, I was blinded by a bright light. After that, I was in this room. From the look of it, 
were in some sort of hospital. Seeing as you're here too, I take it this is Shinjuku Medical Center? Well, first things first. As much as I want to know what's going on out there, it's not exactly safe to walk around. Have you come across any of them yet? Well, they're definitely not human. My guess is that they're demons. My strange experience, your new look, and these weird creatures. Something tells me calling the cops won't do us any good. But damn. If my hunch is right, there's an actual explanation for all this. Though I'd rather not believe it. This is Shinjuku Medical Center. I can't just rule it out. The conception... may have occurred for real. You know, I've seen a barrel like this before. If I remember right, it belonged to a man named Hikawa. He's gotta be behind this somehow. Just standing here talking won't do us any good. Listen, if you're strong enough to fight, could you gather some information while you're at it? I tried talking to what looked like a ghost, but I didn't have much luck. What's happened to the world? And is there anyone else out there? We can only find the answers by finding other people. I wish I could do it myself, but I doubt I'd last long against a demon. Besides, I imagine studying this thing has its own merits. So for now, I leave it to you.